Okay, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can light this ultra bright LED, it's a 10 millimeter. This will also work on other ultra bright LEDs, the Piranha and a few others, using only a penny and some aluminum foil. For this project, you will need five pennies. The more modern pennies are copper on the outside, zinc on the inside, which works fine. But if you're looking for something more long term, you're going to want to look for pennies that are pre-1982, and those will be all copper. So look for those. Make sure they're clean. You're going to need five paper clips, one ultra bright LED. In this case, I'm using a 10 millimeter. Five pieces of paper towel. Each one is cut about three quarters of an inch wide by one and three quarters of an inch long. You're also going to need five strips of aluminum foil that have been pre-cut. In this case, it's one inch wide by three inches long. The solution which we will be using is nothing more than hydrogen peroxide, a small amount, maybe two ounces, mixed with a little bit of salt. Just make sure the salt is thoroughly dissolved. Stir it around good. And you will need a way to connect each cell together, so I just have a few jumper wires. Okay, to make the cell is very simple. You take the penny. Wrap it like this, leaving the top exposed a little bit. Pull it snug and over the edge, like that. just like that. Now, once that's done, you're going to take the foil and overlay Now, you want to make sure it's not going to go past the paper towel into the copper. Pull it around like that. Wrap it again. Give it a squeeze. Once that's done, take a paper clip like this and apply the paper clip. And then there you have it. That is one completed cell right there. This particular cell will put out around seven tenths of a volt, anywhere from 20 to 40 milliamps. So this one's ready to go. You're going to repeat the process five times. Okay, once all five are complete, these will be activated with the solution once I connect them all together in series. To connect them in series, you're going to go from the copper of one to the aluminum of another. Like so. From the second one you connected to, you're going to go from the copper of that one to the aluminum of another. From the copper of this one to the aluminum of the next cell. And we are now going to connect the last cell up. Okay. So now all of our cells are together. Make sure they're not touching each other. This is what we have. We have our five cells all connected in series. The next step is going to be to activate each cell by applying the solution of hydrogen peroxide and salt to each cell between the aluminum and the copper where the paper is going to be. That's the electrolyte area. Once all of these have the electrolyte added, I will connect the ultra bright LED and it will come on brightly and I will demonstrate that in the dark. Okay, now the positive is the copper penny 
and the negative is the aluminum foil. Now looking at the LED, you can see one lead is longer than the other. The longer lead is the positive. So positive connects to the red, and the shorter lead, which is the negative, will connect to the negative. Now we're going to activate each cell using the hydrogen peroxide and salt solution. One at a time. Apply it to each cell, like so. Make sure it's got sufficient amount. And you're also going to turn it over and get the back side. Activate the next one to the third one. Fourth. And the last one. And you can now see the voltage is up to 3.6, 3.7. Let's take a current reading. And how many milliamps we put now? We're now putting up, believe it or not, we are putting up almost 100 milliamps. The LED is at full brightness right now. Each cell we're looking at. So it definitely works. And if you want, you can also place these in an egg carton. And this way they remain partially submerged, because you don't want to fully submerge them because of the connectors, but partially and that would allow the electrolyte to stay between the aluminum and copper. It works extremely well.